विवेक स्टार्ट करते हैं आपका फुल मॉक फॉर सीपीसीएल एंड यू आर फॉर सिविल इंजीनियरिंग बैकग्राउंड ओके इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ गुड आफ्टरनून सर गुड आफ्टरनून माय सेल्फ इज विवेक कुमार आई हैड डन माय इनिशियल स्कूलिंग ऑफ क्लास 10 एंड 12 फ्रॉम पटना आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय मास्टर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम NIT Patna in 2021 currently i am pursuing uh, masters or uh, am take from iit delhi from transportation in department uh, my hobby is to uh, read about the uh, international affairs news and uh, my btech project was design of stone column your hobby is about international affairs yes sir so what is your take on ukraine and uh, russia war can, can you repeat the uh, what is your take on india and uh, sorry russia and ukraine war uh, in my understanding uh, i think that uh, russia is a uh, uh, aggressor uh, uh, It uh, it is so aggression to the Ukraine. Outside. Aggression to the Ukraine by Russia. Ah, uh, because ah uh, ah uh, uh, in the last ah uh, few months, uh, Zelensky said that he ah uh, he will not join NATO. Ah, uh, then uh, when he said they will not join NATO, then I it is mainly confirmed that uh, Ukraine will not join NATO. So I think that. Uh, 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 when Ukraine will not uh, join NATO, then Russia will not any uh, take a, any have problem with uh, Ukraine or NATO issue. So, can you name the state uh, which has been, uh, 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 which has been included in Russia? Uh, of the uh, Ukraine. Ha, uh, from Ukraine. Uh, In 2014, they have taken Crimea, and uh, uh, in this uh, they have taken a uh, Kherson, uh, and uh, okay. चलिए कोई बात नहीं. अच्छा ही. Who's uh, किस कंट्री के साथ है अभी जी ट्वेंटी इंडिया इंडिया जी ट्वेंटी का हेडक्वार्टर किधर है आई एम नॉट कंफर्म आई थिंक ब्रूसल्स अच्छा अभी इसकी एक टैगलाइन है बड़ी फेमस जो अभी इंडिया में जी ट्वेंटी उसका वो प्रेजिडेंसी मिली है तो एक टैगलाइन बनाई है उन्होंने तो क्या है वो इंडिया से बहुत अच्छा रिलेशन है मतलब उसको उसका इंडिया इज बेटर रिलेशन हम बोलते हैं इसके बारे में सर प्लीज रिपीट व्हाट हम उसके बारे में जनरली बोलते रहते हैं so india has a very good relation with russia and uh, in recent times they uh, india also uh, had good relation they have become with usa nahi i am asking about the g20 ki jo tag line hai uske bare mein hum log bolte rehte hain hum log usko publicize karte rehte hain ki hum log aise hain hamara manna aisa hai vasudev kumbh kutum वासुदम को और इंग्लिश में भी उसका नाम है वन 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 फ्यूचर समथिंग करके उसको पढ़ लेना इट बिकॉज़ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द इंटरनेशनल अफेयर्स ठीक है ओके नाउ माय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव अमृत महोत्सव Was celebrated uh, after uh, 75 uh, years of independence. Okay. So celebration. Me, I am. Look, what are we doing? 
आजादी अमृत महोत्सव वी सेलिब्रेटेड मेनी मेनी फेस्टिवल्स इन 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 दिस ईयर वी आल्सो बिफोर द फिफ्टीन अगस्त वी मेन आवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैज ओपन मेनी मॉन्यूमेंट्स फॉर फ्री फॉर सम टाइम्स एंड वी सेलिब्रेटेड आवर अचीवमेंट्स दैट वी हैव गॉट आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस अच्छा uh, your specialization is in going on transportation uh, sir, transportation okay. if you selected in cpcl will you leave your mtech uh sir first of all i will uh, talk to my uh, iit the delhi academic departments uh if there is any po uh, a provision uh, to continue the amtech with the cpcl then i will try my uh, to amtech with the cpcl if they does not allow me to do amtech uh, with this uh, job then i def- i uh, definitely i will uh, uh, leave the amtech अच्छा जब हम विटामिन को रोड पे ले करते हैं फॉर कार्पेटिंग पर्पज के लिए मतलब उसके साथ मिक्स करते हैं उस समय उसका टेम्परेचर कितना होना चाहिए चलो ठीक है नाउ विक्रम सर विल टेक टेक्निकल आई विल गिव यू दिस दैट सर ओवर टू यू ओके विजेंद्र सर यस विवेक यस सर विवेक हाउ आर यू आई एम फाइन सर सो आपका इंटरव्यू 22 दिसंबर को है राइट यस सर ओके एंड व्हाट वाज योर प्रोजेक्ट सर डिजाइन अबाउट सैंड कॉलम सैंड कॉलम ओके सो आई थिंक नाउ स्क्रीन इज विजिबल टू यू यस सर सो कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट इज सैंड कॉलम एंड हाउ इट्स डिजाइन इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल आरसी कॉलम uh sand column is the column that is uh, uh, mainly uh, used to uh, increase the bearing uh, caps bearing uh, capacity of the soil and to reduce the settlement of the uh, soft soils and there is a, a difference between sand column and normal column in sand column we generally use materials like sand and uh, this uh, sand uh, and uh, ca- uh, loose uh, sand and in uh, normal in uh, column we use uh, uh, materials like uh, uh, like uh, concrete materials sand columns are uh, used for the consolidation process to uh, uh, to dissipate water easily but uh, in normal common mainly they are used to uh, transfer the load from beam to uh, foundation what you said in case of sand column we can you repeat what what you said in case of sand column right now just right now can you repeat what? that one what is what, what you said about the, uh, the sand column that i was just want to again oh. can you repeat it again yes sir okay. uh, sand column is uh, mainly uh, there are two purposes uh, for, uh, they are mainly used for ground improvement technique first is they improve the bearing capacity of soil Mm-hmm. and second is they reduce the settlement of the uh, soil okay fine okay go ahead uh, then uh, difference between sand column and normal column sand column uh, is uh, mainly used for uh, also used Vivek, for the... have you have you ever seen the sand column uh, no sir okay and have you uh, heard or read in somewhat where in the books 
what material we have in sand column uh, so in sand column mainly we use uh, granular materials uh, mm. okay that granular materials can you name uh, like sand and uh, small particles of rocks sand and uh, we can use a, a small part of uh, rocks rocks smaller part theek hai okay now suppose uh, you said this is the one of the technique for the improving the bearing capacity of the soil so we can say this is a kind of the ground improvement technique right yes yes so now i am just framing this is my sand column i just want to increase the load carrying capacity of the soil mass of course the soil is weak so yes. what we are doing we are just increasing the load carrying capacity now how can you ensure your this sand column can take such amount of load are you getting my question no sir suppose we insert so many sand column here so what is the yes. purpose of inserting the sand column the answer is to increase the bearing capacity of the soil right yes sir now how you will ensure the bearing capacity of the soil has been increased the question is that Mm. Uh, sir, uh, bearing capacity will increase uh, due to the uh, uh, that uh, uh, sand uh, uh, the materials in the sand column uh, can uh, uh, exert more uh, uh, load than the normal column. No more. The, Okay, fine. And uh, what you did in the design of this sand column? Uh, so we have designed the sand column. Uh, uh, in the in the design. Okay, you did design, na? Huh? Yes. So my question is that what you did actually? This is kind of the purpose. This is increasing the bearing capacity, reducing the settlement. So how you did the design? On what basis you perform the design of the sand column? Uh, so we have given a problems that uh, they have uh, two layers of soil, and in first uh, two layers they may have their uh, clay clay materials are present, and clay uh, material. Clay. Okay. Uh, they and are loose. Third, and then the sandy uh, sand, and last uh, last is the loose is the uh, densely sand. Dense sand. Yes. Okay. <laughs> then uh, uh, first we uh, there's a uh, in this uh, problem we there is a given a storage tank mm -hmm. uh, storage tank uh, above the ground level storage tank yes sir you just want to construct a storage tank on the ground surface that's why you are just going with the sand column technique right yes sir okay so what should be the depth of the sand column how you decided uh, so depth of sand column Uh, is described on uh, uh, two criteria. Uh, then at first you check on uh, bearing capacity, and the second is the uh, settlement criteria. Mm. Okay, fine. Can you tell me? Suppose when we are talking about this uh, shear strength of soil, so kind of tau, there are two things that we have. C. It is uh, cohesion. Yes. And phi angle of internal friction. Yes. So what do you think? While uh, we are just doing the design of sand column, or indirectly we are increasing the bearing capacity of the soil. So is there any role of C and phi in your design when you are designing this sand column? Did you do any investigation on the soil property? What we have on which we are going to insert the sand column? Uh, sir, uh, sir, and I'm not able to. Okay, one more question, Vivek. This uh, yes. we make a hollow hole in the soil mass. So kind of borrow hole, you can say it. This yes. red one. Okay. Now, uh, आपने नाम भी सुना होगा. You must heard about this one. So what we are doing sometimes bentonite clay slurry using. What? Okay. Have you heard bentonite clay slurry? Uh, no, not so. No. Okay. Aushu. 
So uh, you must heard about now black cotton soil. Yes, sir. Black cotton. Okay. So can you tell me how black cotton soil is uh, different from uh, other uh, granular soil? So black uh, cotton soil has uh, it is has expansive properties. The volume uh, changes <laughs> very quickly as compared to other soil. Hmm. It is it is one of expensive soil. Expensive. Okay, what it mean? Volume changes ज़्यादा होंगे. So volume increase will be there or volume decrease will be there? Both will take place. Volume increase will also and volume decreases. So when increase in volume take place and when decrease in volume takes place? Uh, so when we put the load, uh, mm -hmm. it uh, volume will decreases. Okay. Mm, but. Uh, and volume increases uh, swelling of soil then volume increases when can repeat can you repeat what you said volume decreases due to uh, when load is placed and volume increases uh, so i'm not confirm but i will say that due to swelling of soil i think swelling of soil okay so what do you think uh, Will you allow this black cotton soil for the engineering purposes as engineering material, or you will not allow this? Sir, I will not allow. Okay. Now suppose here you have to make an embankment for uh, railway or uh, highway purposes, and the black cotton soil is in abundant. You can't replace the black cotton soil with the granular soil. It is up to a greater depth. Now, how can you stabilize the black cotton soil? Uh, so black cotton soil uh, is can be stabilized by lime stabilization. Okay. And, and uh, this and this also spoils uh, cement stabilization. Soil. Cement stabilization. Soil cement stabilization. Okay. If we have to go with the foundation, and the soil that we know from the geotechnical engineer expert, that data he provided to us, the soil up to a greater depth from the ground surface is the black cotton soil. So, what type of foundation you will prefer and why? Uh, repeat the question. Suppose we want to construct a foundation. Yes. Now, thing is that the soil strata is a kind of the very expensive type. That is a black cotton soil we have. Yes. And the test report that we receive from the geotechnical engineers shows there is a great depth that we have from the ground surface black cotton soil is there so we can't replace the black cotton soil yes so now what type of foundation you will prefer and why the question is that uh, i will prefer raft foundation raft foundation mm -hmm. why uh, because raft uh, foundation has larger surface area mm -hmm. and uh, uh, larger surface and it can uh, it uh, it can handle uh, load uh, uh, as, uh, as more certainly than other foundation. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yes, uh, Rohit sir, over to you. Yeah. Hello, Vivek. Hi. So, uh, Vivek, you are preparing for CPCL interview, right? Yes, sir. And basically, CPCL is Chennai Petroleum Corporation Limited, right? Yes. So, can you please uh, tell me what will what is the density of petrol and what is the density of diesel? Do you have any idea about that? Uh, so it is uh, less than one. Okay. What are your strong subjects, Vivek? My strong subject is strength of materials and soil mechanics. Okay. So soil mechanics, you might have uh, you know learned about the pile foundations, right? Yes. What sort of materials we can use for pile foundations? For pile foundation, uh, we can use materials like uh, timber also used, con uh, concrete, concrete in uh, situ piles, 
and uh, file foundation uh, uh, it, uh, to uh, concrete and timber. Okay. You, what is basically the pile load capacity? There are two, you know, uh, factors which are contributing to the pile load capacity. What are those? Two types of resistances which pile is getting. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, first is end being and the second is friction. First is end being. End bearing, okay. And second so, is friction. Okay, okay. Let's suppose you have a group of piles, right? Pile group is there. And you have heard a factor alpha, which is adhesion factor, correct? Yes. What will be the value of the alpha in case of group, pile group, basically? So in group of piles, value of alpha is one. Okay, value of alpha is one. Okay, my next question will be, what is negative friction, basically? What is negative skin friction in piles? When it is created and what is negative friction? Negative skin friction, so, basically. Uh, it's a that the uh, internet has slowed down. Okay. Uh, shall I repeat my question? Yes, sir. Okay. What is negative skin frictional resistance in case of piles? Uh, in, uh, if, uh, in the negative soil friction, when the soil sorting to the pile settles uh, more than the pile, then the friction uh, on the pile uh, is acting upwards. Due to this, the load carrying capacity of pile reduces. This phenomenon is known as negative skin of friction. Friction is acting upwards or downwards? Due to the soil uh, uh, sorting soil settles more, the friction acting upwards. Again, okay, upwards is there, right? So, will this be beneficial? Will this be positive or disadvantage or a disadvantage for our pile? Uh, it is disadvantage for our pile. Okay. If it is acting upwards, how can it be disadvantage? <coughs> okay. Can you can you name other cases where? You can feel negative skin friction uh, instead, uh, apart from you know uh, the fill or the soil around the pile going downward. Other than that, is there any other cases where you can observe negative skin friction? Uh, so when ground water table uh, increases, also ground water table increases. And ground water table. Okay. My second question, uh, second last question will be, can you difference, uh, tell me the difference between liquefaction and piping? Mm. Uh, in a liquefaction, it, uh, it occurs due to dynamic loading. Uh, in this, uh, uh, due, to, uh, in, uh, due to earthquake uh, dynamic loads, the poor water, uh, poor water pressure uh, will decrease. It will increase and the volume decreases. And due to this, the effective stress it reduces to zero. Uh, due to effective this reduces to zero, this phenomenon is, is known as liquefaction. Whereas in piping, it is a uh, it occurs due to flow condition. Uh, it occurs due to flow condition in which. Uh, uh, seepage space due to seepage space acting upward, the effective stresses reduces to zero. So, uh, due to the effective or stress reduces zero, the, the piping is occurring in the uh, soil mass. Okay. My last question will be Can you name any two geophysical soil exploration methods? Or one ge geophysical soil exploration method? As uh, auger method. Is there a yes or no for this question? No, 
I am not so I I I can no, can I make guess? Ha, you can yeah, you can guess. I think that auger method and uh, okay, no issues. So let me give you feedback now. Basically, uh, Vivek, if you are saying that your strong subjects are soil and stone. first revise these you know you you know the concept but you are you know committing some confusion error right so yes. clear that revise these subjects secondly if you are going for a petroleum industry yes. uh, selection or interview right at least know the density and other uh, components or physical uh, properties and chemical properties of petrol and diesel at least basic right along with that i have uh, you have done your masters and you know files right so, uh, sand files right so uske bare mein bhi thodi clarity honi chahiye right so wo aapko thoda sa again wohi ki uh, revise nahi hai properly you know confuse ho rahe ho answer karte time right you should not do like that and the last is if you are not getting any answer for the question yaar right? you are not remembering take like 5 to 10 seconds then simply say no sir i can't remember right now instead of wasting time right that creates a negative impression because a silent zone in an interview is very bad for you right yes sir so basically two geophysical if they are asking geophysical soil exploration techniques then that might be seismic refraction tech method or yes, you know electrical resistivity and xyz other methods also but if you are not remembering that just say sir, sorry sir i am I'm not able to remember at this point of time so next question right in this way so this is all from my side rest you know the things but you are just confused revise these subjects you will be clear right thank you sir i want to ask sir that the uh, interview i have to prepare two more subject completely or i have to prepare all the subject basically um, you need to have the you know uh, knowledge or the subject uh -huh. knowledge basic subject knowledge of all the subjects but two strong subjects you may choose right as your priority but it won't be necessary that they will be asking you questions from those subjects only right yes, so basic knowledge you should have because you have done btech as well as mtech right so basic yes. knowledge they they you know they assume that you have right so yeah any other question vivek uh, so i have only one day left <coughs> so it is better to watch All subject or uh, only two subject. If you have less time, since you are saying your interview is tomorrow or one day left, then uh, focus on two subjects, right? Get a proper knowledge of that. Get a proper knowledge about, or a, you know, short make a note about your uh, any project you are doing, doing, so that if they are asking the questions from that project, you should be able to answer those, right? If you are having less time, focus on things which are in your code or in our are in your hand, right? and be confident don't worry about that you know things just be con just don't be confused and don't you know linger on things right if you know the answer answer it and move on if you don't know the answer just simply say no sir i am not able to remember that at this point of time so they'll ask you another question right either question vivek no so but i think that when i am not able to answer then i become unconfident so So, don't lose your confidence that is the key that is the key to the interview right don't ever lose your confidence even if you are not answering 9 out of 10 questions don't lose your confidence don't lose your personality stay with your personality and confidence right just that shows how clear you are in your th thoughts right if you know the answer you answer you are answering it if you don't know the answer you are just skipping that right so that creates a positive image on the interviewer that you are not wasting their time and your time as well and you are not confused you are clear with your thoughts yes sir yeah yes, any sir. other question vivek no sir okay thank thank you thanks a lot over to you vikram sir yes sir vivek yes sir so you did project on sand column yes sir and you even you did the designing of sand column also yes sir But uh, you were not clear on what basis you are defining that there should be depth of the sand column. Uh, yes, not uh, not uh, not uh, able to uh, clear uh, settle. Uh, to, uh, 
yes that was fine what is the purpose of sand column generally a sand column basically comes under the ground improvement techniques that yes. was fine that you told it is used for the improving the bearing capacity of the soil and we are reducing the settlement criteria at all now even yes. you just just use your brain vivek what you are doing now so being a civil engineer you have to look the settlement you are also saying you are reducing the settlement so if you cast if you make this sand column what we are doing and what we did practically in the dfcc in maharashtra we have black bottom soil to a great extent and the railway track dfc track was there alignment we can't change in that case we go with the sand column we use sand along with the large boulder size particles and finally what is the load carrying capacity of that sand column we conduct the plate load test what we are doing in the plate load test we are just doing the settlement analysis na Yes, yes, you you can say sir, can check or we are checking its settlement with the help of the method that we have plate load test. So we have a plate and we are applying some load on that plate and what is the settlement of that plate indirectly? It is showing what is the settlement of the sand column into the soil mass. Yes, sir. Fine. Material that was fine sand we are using rocks. You can oh. say a uh, gravel or boulder at all. That was also sir. fine. But rocks itself uh, might be little, okay, awkward word type. So, so bentonite uh, clay slurry. So have a look. Vivek, this is very basic. Yes. So whenever there is some construction, like we have to do the piling work, even in case of the this sand column, how will you make the hole in the soil mass? So there should be some machines, machinery on the uh, with the help of that machinery, we are making a hole in the soil mass. Yes, sir. So uh, while we are digging, while we are making holes, what is happening? Wait, the soil from the bore itself start falling into the bore. Yes, sir. So what we are doing? So we are supplying the bentonite clay slurry. So this is used for the stabilization of the bore holes. Yes, sir. Yes. Bentonite clay slurry is yes, used sir. for the stabilization of the bore holes. Surprise. Or even in this bentonite clay slurry. The liquid limit is more than five hundred percent. Have you heard yes. this term, liquid limit? Last yes, sir, liquid limit. I have heard. Uh, mm. Liquid limit is greater than five hundred percent. Fine. Liquid limit is also kind of water content that we have. Yes. So same. Uh, I just want to know black cotton soil. Can you use it for the engineering purpose? The answer is big no. That you said no. The reason is that because it is having the large swelling and shrinkage characteristics. Yes, sir. When it comes with the water, volume increases. Definitely volume increases. Yes. When the loss of water is there, shrinkage at all is there. What will happen? The volume uh, decreases, decreases, reduces. Yes. We don't want such type or such character of the soil as an engineering material, or even we don't want to construct any structure on that particular soil. Yes, sir. We are not want to. Are you getting? Yes, sir. I am getting. So these are the things that you have to keep in your brain. So uh, black cotton soil. How to stabilize? That was okay. Lime stabilization we can do, but if we have to choose or we have to go with the foundation, then you have to, of course, deep foundation you are doing. You will not go with the raft at all because this kind of the shallow foundation. Now the thing is that in case of the deep, what you will prefer? Answer is the Un under rimmed. Yes, under rimmed piles. Yes, sir. Okay. I have forgotten that under rimmed piles we are using. Probability is very high, Vivek. They will ask the things from you. What you did in the sand column design? On what basis you are designing the sand column? And how you came to know the bearing capacity of the soil increases? You simply say, sir, we conduct this uh, plate load test. If the settlement is less, it means the soil can bear the more load. That's a plate load test. That we did. That we did practically. I'm just telling you. Yes. Okay, the sand column we casted a number because the soil is a uh, is black cotton soil and we can't replace that soil. Or even Bharat Mala project. This is currently in uh, road project in India. We are just after uh, completing two major projects. That is your north, south, east, west corridor and golden quadrilateral. Right now the Bharat Mala project is Pariyojana. So what we are doing? We are just making the road on the boundary of the country. Okay. This is in phase construction going. So again in uh, this Maharashtra region. So there is uh, some uh, district uh, right now. Remember. Name is not remember to me. Where we have this black cotton soil and we are stabilizing it with this lime. We are sprinkling the lime and after that we are applying the water and harrowing that soil. Leave it for the few hours. After that, roller roller is applying on that particular soil. 
okay you said the soil is also your favorite subject so that's why just link it with your the project also just yes, keep sir, basic I... knowledge give a basic knowledge keep yourself try to learn the things always confidence will come from your inner side nobody can give it to you okay okay and yes. this time little better i think we already have uh, uh, one more uh, snap earlier so this yes, time sir. i think uh, your answer was little clear streamlined pe, as compared to earlier yes yes vijender sir over to you okay <clears throat> thank you sir okay vivek yes sir dekho jab aap cpcl ki site kholte ho usi mein aapka g20 ke bare mein aata hai theek hai na amit mahotsav ke bare mein aata hai to ye pata hona chahiye aapko aapka international affairs mein uska aapka interest bhi hai theek hai na ye yes, sir maine to pehle wo we plantation khol raha tha lekin sir us pe mai confused ho gaya tha to uske maine change kar diya ट्री देखो ट्री प्लांटेशन वैसे तो इजी है लेकिन yes, उनके दिमाग में क्या क्वेश्चन बन रहा है इसके रिगार्डिंग वो कुछ नहीं कहते लेकिन इंटरनेशनल अफेयर्स में आपको करंट में क्या हो रहा है वो उससे रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन ही पूछे जाएंगे ठीक है ना तो जैसे अभी वो इंटरनेशनल अफेयर में दो तीन एक्टिविटीज हो रही है एक तो कतर yes, में आपका वर्ल्ड कप फीफा वर्ल्ड कप फीफा वर्ल्ड कप हो रहा है दूसरा आपका यूक्रेन वॉर हो रहा है ठीक है ना yes, ना उससे रिलेटेड तीसरा आपका गलवान सॉरी गलवान अभी चाइना ठीक है ना तो ये जो मेजर मेजर इवेंट्स होती है इन्हीं से रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन पूछे जाते हैं जी तो आपको फिर आपका जी ट्वेंटी के बारे में पूछा जा सकता है तो इनका लिमिटेड स्कोप है और आंसर ड्यूएबल है ठीक है ना तो इंटरनेशनल अफेयर में ऐसा कोई वो नहीं है ठीक है ना दूसरा हम किस कंट्री से हमारा इंपोर्ट बढ़ा है क्रूड ऑयल ठीक है ना क्योंकि भी इंटरनेशनल आता है वो भी हमें रसिया से बढ़ा है ओपेक कंट्रीज के बारे में ये हम पहले भी डिस्कस कर चुके हैं सर हाँ, जब बोल रहा था ओपेक तो ये सब चीजें पता होना चाहिए आपको आ, उसका वसुदेव कुंभ कुटुम है वन अर्थ वन फैमिली वन फ्यूचर का इंग्लिश में कन्वर्जन है ठीक है ना हमसे पहले इंडोनेशिया के पास में थी प्रेजिडेंसी जी ट्वेंटी की इसका एडवर्ट का होता है ये आइडिया होना चाहिए आपको ठीक है ना अमृत महोत्सव बेसिकली आपको पूरा बताने की जरूरत नहीं है सर ऑन कम्पलीशन ऑफ सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस इंडिया इज सेलिब्रेटिंग अमृत आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव ठीक है ना इन विच वी आर मतलब एट वेरियस प्लेसेस पे हम लोग लोगों को अपने फ्रीडम फाइटर्स और इन सब के बारे में बता रहे हैं ठीक है ना बस इतना सा बताना ज्यादा उसको वो करने की जरूरत नहीं है और एक क्वेश्चन और था मेरा आप मेमटेक छोड़ोगे या नहीं छोड़ोगे क्लियर हो ठीक है ना आप सिंपल बोलो सर आई विल लीव माय एमटेक अनलेस अनटिल आईआईटी गिव मी परमिशन टू डू द एमटेक ड्यूरिंग जॉब सर डायरेक्ट बोल सकते हैं कि मतलब एमटेक छोड़ देंगे आप अब इसका मतलब अभी क्लियर ही नहीं होगा कॉन्फिडेंट ही नहीं हो कि आपका सिलेक्शन होगा या नहीं होगा Yes, yes. ठीक है ना तो कुछ चीजों में आपको क्लियर होना है अपना दिमाग से ठीक है समझ गए मेरी बात yes, yes. हाँ. so, मान लीजिए वो पूछेंगे कि अगर एमटेक छोड़ने से अगर सीट बवाद हुआ तो उसका, उसका रीजन क्या दे सकते हैं अगर क्या होगा मैंने अगर हम पूछा कि अगर आपने एमटेक छोड़ा तो आपने जस्टिस किया आई आई लिख था नहीं वो बोलना सर अनजस्टिस इसमें क्या आई नीड ए जॉब ठीक है ना इफ आई गोट द अपॉर्चुनिटी सिंपल आदमी को क्लियर होना चाहिए अपने ऑब्जेक्टिव में ठीक है सो आई नीड अ जॉब सो ठीक है और वो हमने डिस्कस पहले भी किए हैं कि आपको सीपीसीएल के बारे में पता होना चाहिए उसके ऑयल प्रोडक्ट्स के बारे में पता होना चाहिए इंटरनेशनल मार्केट में क्या 
तो ऑयल से रिलेटेड टर्म्स हैं उनके बारे में आइडिया होना चाहिए ठीक है ना ये सब चीजें राइट अप में भी है योर पीडिया के में भी आपको मिल जाएंगे ऑल आईओसीएल से रिलेटेड ऑयल इंडस्ट्री से रिलेटेड पैरामीटर्स ठीक है ना नहीं तो आप मैडम से बात कर लेना वो पीडिया पे आपको सेंड कर देंगे अच्छा मैम से और क्यों मुझे मिला नहीं इसको राइट अप वो तो मैं सीपीसीएल से पढ़ना स्टार्ट किया था सीपीसीएल की वेबसाइट पे जाके भी आप एक पेज का नोट्स बनेगा इससे ज्यादा नोट्स नहीं है ठीक है ना सारी इंफॉर्मेशन कर देंगे हां यस सर एनुअल रिपोर्ट से मैंने स्टार्ट किया था पढ़ना वो इतना इतनी डिटेल में जाने की जरूरत नहीं है एनुअल रिपोर्ट फाइनेंशियल स्टेटस वो बताने की जरूरत नहीं होती है ठीक है ना वो कोई ऐसा कोई वो नहीं होता है ठीक है थोड़ा सा आइडिया होता है किसी भी बंदे को वो होना चाहिए ठीक है लेकिन जी ट्वेंटी अमृत महोत्सव यूक्रेन तवांग और फीफा ठीक है ना फीफा में भी एक कंट्रोवर्सी हुई है फीफा वर्ल्ड कप में भी वो भी आपको पता होना है कंट्रोवर्सी ये हुई है कि अदर कंट्रीज को जनरली समर में होता था वर्ल्ड कप इस बार विंटर में कराया गया है स्पेशली फॉर कतर को ध्यान में रखते हुए कि कतर में गर्मी होती है ठीक है और दूसरी भी कंट्रोवर्सी हुई थी वहां पे कि वो कौन सी सोसाइटी को अलाउ नहीं किया था हाँ और ये सब इंडियन वर्कर्स को बहुत आइडिया था तो कंस्ट्रक्शन पे ये सब चीजें आइडिया होना चाहिए ठीक है चलिए गुड लक ऑल द बेस्ट अभी कोई घबराने की जरूरत नहीं है एक तो ये जो सर लोग सब लोग बोलते हैं सारे मेंटर्स बोलते हैं कि डोंट कंफ्यूज योर सेल्फ एंड इंटरव्यूअर ठीक है ना आपको आता है आंसर तो ठीक है अदरवाइज सॉरी सर ठीक है ना फॉल आइडली ठीक है चलिए गुड लक ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू